Pope Francis recently met with a Catholic Church abuse victim, and during the back and forth, he said something that's making headlines. I was upset, and I told him, Holy Father, um, you know, I know um, they have slandered me, the Cardinal Erasuries and others, um, to you. Um, said that I, I've lost my faith and said that I'm this perverted person. And I worry that you think that, you know, being gay I I is bad. And he immediately said to me, look, Juan Carlos, um, God loves you that way. God made you that way. The Pope loves you. And you uh, have to love yourself. I don't want to be naive and think that, you know, after this, everything's going to be solved. Uh, but um, in terms of abuse and in terms of uh, what he said to me about um, the gay issue, it's been, it, 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 I really met a man that is sincere and really cares about that. So that's, um, that's interesting. This is, I guess, the furthest a pope has gone on the issue of gay rights. And he said, God made you that way. God loves you that way. Um, up, you know, there were reports of him saying similar things about atheists, like something about how atheists can get into heaven. <laughs> Thanks, but we d doesn't exist, so <laughs> it doesn't really mean much. Um, but again, this is one of those stories where it's like credit where credit is due, but at the same time, man, are we taking baby steps? I'm going to get to a story in a little bit about what percentage, it's a new poll, what percentage of the American people believe in gay marriage now? It, the fucking numbers just skyrocketed. But that's right. I mean, that's the common sense position. People are, are coming to that position. Um, but when we look at something like the church, the Catholic church in this instance, it's like, okay, there. thank you for moving in the right direction and saying gay people are, are normal and God made you that way and he loves you that way. But is the Catholic church in favor of gay marriage now? See, that's the thing is like, there are all these instances where like, religious institutions take a baby step in the right direction, but it's it's damning with faint praise. It's like the definition of damning with faint praise. It's like when um, Saudi Arabia said recently, oh, we're going to let women drive now. Uh, good job, man. <laughs> like, like you're, you were so far ahead of that that it's it's almost like saying like, hey... No more slaves. Like, oh, wow. Like, wonderful. Like, yeah, that's good, but let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Catch up. Catch up. Catch up. Catch up. Sound like I was saying catch up there. <laughs> um, so, I, listen, I don't want to downplay it because it is a step in the right direction, but it's always damning with faint praise or what, whatever it is, the soft bigotry of low expectations to, to give credit for something like this. And also, let's keep it real. The reason he gave is not the reason why you should believe in gay rights. That, oh, God made you that way. Because, okay, by that same logic, you could say God made a murderer the way he made a murderer. Does that mean God loves murderers? That's a shitty way of thinking. No, it's, the real reason is God made you that way and, oh yeah, nothing is wrong with it because you're not hurting anybody. So even the argument he gives that's like a kind of a, it's okay, argument is not like well thought through. Because that argument can be extended in ways that are not rational, like, you know. But you could say by that same logic, I mean, listen, I'm not, I'm saying this because it's a fact. There are people who exist who are pedophiles, who are sexually attracted to children. Are, if his argument is, God made you that way, so it's okay, is it okay to be a pedophile? I mean, listen, if they act on it, no. <laughs> so it's not that it's okay, it's, it's okay to be gay because God made you that way and nobody is getting hurt. It's consenting adults doing something that's normal. That's fine. That there's no, no pain is being caused by... So, that's the point. But, you know, again, damning with faint praise because you should... They should be in favor of gay marriage. They should be in favor of anti-discrimination clauses. But no. And also, let's keep it real, he's the head of an organization that was responsible for the systemic abuse and rape of children. So, you know, we're praising an organization that's now okay with gay rights when where were, there was no accountability for this organization back when there was a child fucking scandal at this organization. How many, what they used to do, and to be fair, this wasn't Pope Francis, it was the previous Pope, but they would shuffle around 
the uh, priests who were guilty of child abuse. They said, okay, here, send them to this church because there nobody knows about them over there, and then they'd probably abuse again, and so I'm going to shuffle them into that church, and they paid out some ridiculous, it was like over a billion dollars in damages they had to pay out to kids they abused. This is not, it's good, but it's really nothing to, to get excited about because they're still officially against gay marriage. So th as long as they're dragging behind, you know, it's good they inch in the right direction, but you went an inch when you got a mile in front of you, so get to running and get a mile in front of you.